everyone, today we're making this really simple app style. It's all made with knots and I would recommend that you have medium length to long hair. It's going to be really, really hard to put a knot into someone's hair that is really short. So first up, what you need to do is, if you don't already have curly hair, which would be perfect because it's done in like five minutes, you need to curl your hair if your hair is really straight. You can use um, a curling iron, you can use a GHD or a straightener, you can use something that you leave in overnight, or you can use your hot rolls, you can leave whatever your heart desires. It doesn't have to be a perfect curl because obviously we'll be putting it all up afterwards. Also, for those of you who haven't voted for me yet, I've got a link down below there. If you click on that link, that will guide you to uh, lead you to a photo on Facebook and then you need to just click a like under the photo and you will help me win a photo competition and if you don't know already I am oops, there we go <laughs> I am actually eight months pregnant and I'm trying to win this photo competition so please please help me out if you haven't already done so here's the tutorial so now that we've got everything curled, it doesn't have to be tied, it can be like wavy like mine, because I don't have much time right now. So what you're going to do now is you can do with the front whatever you like. I'm going to do a tiny, tiny little part, sort of that goes to the side like this. But I'm going to leave this out for now, so don't touch the front. Well, I'm not going to touch the front, but you can do whatever you like with it. So I'm just going to pin it out of the way for now. Now what we're going to do is take the side, each from the top to the ear, and separate it. Keep this. Do the same on the other side. Now I've got two parts, and now what we're going to do is put them back and put a knot into them. But I want this backwards kind of um, loose-ish, so make sure you don't pull it too tight. Now we've got a knot in there, we're going to have to secure it. And take as many pins as you need, I'm just going to use one now for demonstration purposes. Now we're going to take another section, about this wide, from the other side as well. And we're going to do exactly the same, I'm going to take this back. I like to twist it a little bit so it, it makes it look a little bit looser. Put another knot in it. And we're going to secure that again. Now, if you like, you can leave this hanging out like that, or you can get the bottom section as well. Twist it a little bit and put it up. Secure it. And then those little dangly bits, you're going to have to get a mirror. Oh look, my tag's been hanging out all the time. You could have told me that. And just sort of, sort of shape it the way you want it to sit at the back. Might actually take it all back to the side really loosely. Now you can bling it up a little bit by putting a little accessory in it, which looks quite cute as well. Or you could put a little flower in it, for example, just at the back. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this look and good luck with it. Very, very easy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.